ethanol. This ethanol, yeah, is a type of alcohol <laughs> found in alcoholic beverages and used as an automobile fuel. It is a clear colors liquid that mixes readily with water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, ethanol boils at 172 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Now, in 1907, the U.S. fuel industry introduced ethanol to reduce the dependence on foreign oil. <laughs> fuel producers developed a mixture of 90% gasoline, 10% ethanol. Ah. Now, I know that we spent a tremendous amount of money in the manufacturing of ethanol. <laughs> now, let's say you're an ethanol manufacturer that's selling this fuel additive yes. <laughs> to any of those that sell gasoline. <laughs> now, I know I'm going to want to get rid of the nuclear waste <laughs> and I'm going to want to manufacture this because I think it's very valuable yes. to the manufacturing of ethanol yes, and in all spirits. Yes. <laughs> now, I know you're sitting there. <laughs> you're thinking high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> There was a product that was the non-digestible molecular structure of high fructose corn syrup <laughs> that if it was in me, yes, and you were to use radar poot, frequencies, yes, you could attach it uh -huh, to my person so as to cause me to say or do what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> now, could you give me all the high fructose corn syrup manufacturers in this nation <laughs> that thought it was better that we use that in any and all condiment additives? <laughs> Because I think, yes, I have available to me a large number of sales of this desalinator that use just a minuscule amount of the radioactivity of nuclear waste. <laughs> so as to, oh, well, how do you make high fructose corn syrup? How do you make high fructose corn syrup? 